Hey guys, today I'm changing the lock cylinder on the driver's side door of an 03 Chevy 1500. And right there is what I'm talking about. Oh. Right here are some of the tools that I'm going to use. Basically just a ratchet and this is a 7 millimeter, 7 millimeter socket. Can't really see it there, but yeah, that's basically all you need and then you need a couple flat screwdrivers and I got a pick a couple of picks here and right here is the new key cylinder for the door and I just ordered this from Stratec online and here's the new clip to hold the cylinder in so right here is the door and Probably the first thing you want to do is remove this this window handle right here. And so I just use a pick, or you can also use a flat screwdriver. And if you push this back, kind of, kind of push it back, there's a small clip back in there. And so try to get back in there with this with this pick, and you just pull it out. You want to make sure that you don't lose it you want to make sure that doesn't go flying because yeah that's easy that can happen easy just like that okay right here right here's the pin it's holding it in let's pull it out just pull it off like that and Pop this thing back in there. There's two grooves in there where this pin goes in. And then you just pop the pin back on the handle. And then when you go to put it back on, well, you just pop the handle back on. So anyway. Okay, so next step, grab your small screwdriver. And just go in here, just go right in there, pop this thing out. Kind of. Pop this thing off. Just pop that out like that. Just set this aside somewhere. And then take the same screwdriver and go right in here by your door handle. Just pry that out. Don't put too much pressure that you break that you break your clips and stuff. Like that. And then grab your socket. You want to have an extension so you can that way you can get to all your all your bolts. There's a bolt right in here. <clears throat> anyway, there's a bolt right here. Then there's a, right under the door handle here, there's another bolt that you gotta take out. That's what you want your extension for. And then right under, right under your door panel, on the bottom here, there's a bolt right there, and that's the last bolt. So I'll go ahead and remove those. Okay, so I got these three bolts removed. The small one was in here, and then there's the two longer ones go here, under the door handle, and then down here. So you just remove those, and then Basically all you do is lift the door handle up just a little bit. Basically lift the whole panel up. But I actually forgot. I gotta remove this this thing right here. And in order to do that, grab your screwdriver. You can usually basically just pull these off, but just Screwdriver in there, 
pop it loose. Pop that loose, and it just comes off like this. Now you just grab it here by the door handle and lift the whole thing up and it pops up and you can lift it off just like that. Just set it right here. Now you, you obviously got to get in this area right here so you can get to your lock cylinder. So sometimes this stuff is like completely glued on or whatever. Just got to pull this corner back a little bit just like that in order to get in there and then right down here this hole right here that's basically where you got to get into and down here to get to the lock cylinder okay okay guys so I got my flashlight inside there so I can see better and if you come down to this hole right here you can look you can look in there and right here as you can see is your lock cylinder and the red the red clip there you got to take that red clip off right here you just just pull it this way and it just pops off and then you got to pull this this rod out this is connected to the cylinder just pull that back towards you and you just put that aside and then right here Right in there is the lock cylinder, and you can the, you can see the clip there that you gotta you gotta take that clip off in order to get that bracket loose from the cylinder. And okay, so there's a clip on there right here, and you gotta take it off in order to get that bracket off. But you don't, actually don't have to take the, that clip off until after you take the cylinder out. And then you can exchange that bracket onto the new onto the new lock cylinder. If you look, if you look up there, you can see the bottom of the lock cylinder right here. And then on the tip of my screwdriver there, there's a metal clip, and you have to take that metal clip off in order to get the lock cylinder out. So you can just take a screwdriver or something. I'm actually going in this hole right here. So was, just go in there. And sometimes it's easier with a pick or a smaller screwdriver. Just get a hold of it. Okay, so as you can see, I got in there with the small screwdriver under that metal it looks kind of like a wire but it's actually a clip and that's what holds the cylinder in place so it, it helps to have a longer screwdriver but you kind of want to have a shorter flat one in order to get in far enough you just gotta shove it under that clip and then what you can do is you can twist it and twist the screwdriver and it'll pull it down pull the clip down but you actually have to remove the whole clip or basically remove the whole thing in order in order for the lock cylinder to release so I'm actually gonna go in there with a bigger screwdriver okay so I loosened it up with a small screwdriver and I'm going in with a bigger flathead screwdriver and I'm just twist it Pull that wire down. And actually, you can go to the side. Go kind of, to, kind of to the side of it, and pull the side of the, the prong down, and then it kind of releases just like that. Okay, so as you can kind of see here, there's a metal clip on the lock cylinder there, and I removed. I pulled it. I pulled it down and removed and removed it mostly, just to make that it's pulled off and off enough so that the lock cylinder releases, so I can pull it out. So 
come up here. Because I'm just gonna look into here with my camera and I'll just put my arm in through here. It's kinda hard to see when there's barely any access like this in these doors. I'll just come up here with my hand and grab this bracket. Kinda wanna watch this, this one here. And I gotta push it out of the way. And you just pull it out. Sometimes you can sometimes you can push in on the on the outside of the door here. You can push in right here and it'll help to push the cylinder out. Anyway, so you just come inside here, you mean you gotta push that thing out of the way a little bit. You just pull the cylinder, pull the cylinder out. Okay, there it is. Now, just bring it over here. And I'll actually take this inside to switch these out. Okay guys, I'm in here on my bench and I got some PB blaster. I don't know, it helps so you can Spray some on there. You don't have to, I guess. Okay. There you go. So what you gotta do is you gotta take this clip off. And there's a small I don't know if this thing's gonna focus right. There's it right there where my finger is, there's a small tab that you gotta bend out with with a pick or something in order to release it. But if you don't have a, a pick like this that I got in my hand or something sharp to get in there, then you can just take a, a needle nose or something and tear that tear that um, thing off. And all you gotta do is you gotta, basically, you gotta go in here with the pick on this end and you gotta bend that tab out. Okay, so I got it in my little vise here, and then I just I'm pull over on this side. And then all you gotta do, I bent that tab out. Right, right there's a little tab you gotta bend out. And then you just go in here with the screwdriver, flat screwdriver, and you just twist, and I'll push it over. Push that whole clip over, and then it'll release. Just go like that. It's supposed to release. Okay, there we go. Okay. And then this bracket comes off. That's the old cylinder right there. Let's take that thing out. Right here's my new one. I ordered it black when I got it, so I don't know. I'm trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time. Okay, so you want to make sure that you turn this thing the right way because um, your cylinder, as you can see on the old one, it's got an indentation right here, but it doesn't on the other side. Smooth on this side, and on this side, it's got this indentation. And that thing has to be on the bottom, so basically facing down. And then your bracket would be facing toward my thumb. So, right here, this thing has to be on the bottom, that's your indentation. And then your bracket has to be facing this way, like this way. And you have to make sure that your red red thing is is on this side obviously you don't want to go like that okay anyway so stick it on there <clears throat> here's my new clip all I do is stick it on there push it on
Okay, just like that. Okay, I'm back outside with the truck and the, got the lock cylinder ready to put back in. Let's just bring it through here. Bring it on up here. There's, let me put it in. You want to make sure that your lock cylinder is all lined up. You just push it back into place. Just push it all the way in and you know it's in place when when you see on the outside of the door here that it's all the way out. Just like that. Okay. Now you is you come up here and you push this clip, the metal clip where my thumb is, you push that back into place. Not really back in place right now, but I'll do that real quick. Okay, there we go. The clips, that metal clip right here. I think I put that thing up back in place. You just basically slide it back up. And then right here, you bar. Right here is your bar that connects to the actual cylinder here. Just push that back in. And when you that pushed in, you just clip this thing back into place, just like that. And that's it. And you can make sure that your new key works before you put it back together. But anyway. And then you just put your plastic back on. Just like that. You can you can glue it if you want to. Or yeah. So whatever. Okay, so I'm all ready to put the door panel back on, which I just got sitting here on the ground. I'm just gonna grab it by the by the door handle, and then you got you got like these clips in here, right here, here, and here. And basically, you just want to make that those go back into slots. Right here. Right here is your clip and it goes right in this hole here. So you basically just lift the door panel up here, make that seats back in, and you slide it back down. Just like that, and you make sure everything's latched on the top here mainly. 